Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a selection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. We have colonised these three here and I feel like one of the things we should be doing is figuring out how we can colonise these two over here. We'll definitely be sending rockets out, but the big thing that I have also noticed is that these two, these two asteroids over here, they've not got a very wide area around them uh, selected to be able to see. So I think these are the two things that we're going to work on today. We're going to send some people out to go have a look at Irregul, uh, see if we can go take advantage of something. I'm not sure exactly what we need from here. I, I noticed we've got some pips. I noticed we've got some poke crabs there. Maybe the poke crabs are very important. Uh, and over on here on Tundrin, we've um, we got rust. Is rust important? Maybe we'll be ignoring Tundril for a little bit longer. But the thing that I really want to do right now, just to get going straight away, is to come over to Blagolia. Now, this is an area that really, really should be doing a lot better than it is. Let's just hit go and let this run. We've got enough food to see us through, but the environment is hostile. It is full of things like polluted oxygen, and actually mostly just polluted oxygen. We do have slime lung everywhere, but most of the people, most of the inhabitants of this rock have got used to that. The stress is climbing high, but I would like to send someone who's also going to have a very stressful time over to here. I think we need to get Plank over here so that we can do a couple of things. The first thing is to... Uh, Analyze our natural gas guys as I click analyze there and if I click analyze Oh, I had already clicked analyze there We also need to get our gold volcanoes analyzed and then we could also get in and get the cobalt volcano Maybe the aluminium one and start thinking about how we can actually look after these places So how do we get plank over there the reason that I want plank? Let's have a look out on on the uh, the very extremities of the Skill tree you can see he, he's got all of the research and all of the rocket tree So we're gonna send him in the hopes that he He's the fastest. He's currently living on Pyaxlin, and we do have a couple of rockets ready to go. This one is a mining uh, mining rocket. It goes over to this patch of swampy ore field here. Gets us a whole bunch of polluted dirt and mud. Cobalt ore is really what I'm after from that group. Uh, but this one over here, this is just a spacefarer module. This is just people going out, having a good time. We're going to view the interior. I think we're okay. We just need to set up some food, which is going to be barbecue for the brave adventurers uh, and, and hopefully as soon as that food has arrived here we can start sending pl plank over to a blagolia wonderfully the meat is being uh, sent through that's beautiful that's beautiful let's come back out to pyax and the big adventure over the past couple of episodes has been trying to get this little patch of crude oil to warm up here now i say it's little we want to try and warm up this entire column of crude oil so it starts becoming petroleum and then as the petroleum flows back we can start warming up the petrol that we're going to pump in thus keeping the temperature of the whole system quite high that is the the, the hope it's taken us a very long time though we need to get this crude oil up to a temperature of about four 400 degrees we're i mean we could say halfway there but is that exactly how the temperature system works here i think it does we'll we'll go with halfway there and, and i'm hoping whilst we go out and do our adventures and look around and see if there is anything extra we can take advantage of this will be ticking over and warming up a lovely I, I do wonder whether i could actually be taking heat from elsewhere and pumping it into there but that sounds like a lot of work so taking a look at Plank here, eats a thousand calories a day. Over in the rocket, we have got ourselves four days worth of food, three days worth of food, let's say that. Just allow for a little bit of spoilage. I'm not entirely sure how long, uh, let's change the destination, how long it's going to take for us to get over uh, three, three days. That, that's great. What do you mean further than my maximum destination? Where is my steam input? We we just throw the switch and, and correct that. I did not know, and now I do. Of course, we can take as much steam as we like from this, I have, as I have this liquid shutoff valve here hooked up to this atmospheric sensor. If we get below a certain level of steam, this uh, shutoff valve will turn on, siphoning the water from the very rockets themselves that they, this is providing for, uh, and this should hopefully mean that we never run out of steam. 200 degree steam, very nice. This may very well be the unintended bottleneck. There, There is always one to any of my projects, and there, there's always something that I just miss and uh, ends up taking me twice as long as I thought it would. 
It's taken the best part of a cycle, but we're about 140 kilograms into it. I'm going to turn this switch off now because we do need to uh, empty out the lines. I did, in fact, have another trick up my sleeve. Indeed, if there was a little bit left in the pipes like this, let's just slow down the game again, uh, I can grab a pipe and uh, send it into the other one. I needed to fill this up a lot quicker than just letting one, uh, letting the, uh, the gas split between the two. So I sent it all over to this way. And if I really, really wanted to clear the pipe out, I could do this. And away they go. But it's it's now the day. It's now time to send the plank away. I think if we have a look at the food that is in here. Yeah, we've got ourselves. Well, look at that. There's three days worth of food right here. So we're going to go and change crew. Not Curie, but plank. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's put that onto crew and watch the outside for when plank finally comes along and decides to uh, get into this. I'm not even sure where he is. Look, there, there he is. He must have gone in to tend to the animals turn the crank i'm not sure exactly what he's doing there but let's take a look at this new printer shall we together uh over here we go choose the blueprint oh gotta go for the plastic thanks very much okay plank just went inside i was kind of hoping to watch him but obviously got distracted we're gonna be in the launch sequence and we are ready to roll in three two one go or maybe not and i always get that wrong i never i never know uh, a little bit of a problem everything does get very very hot here i have not really taken much into account for that am i going to be flashing this crude oil into warmer temperatures that that would be a problem that would be a problem but over here on the star map away the uh, the flight goes oh it's only going to take me a cycle okay that's that's much better Okay, over on Blagolia, the question of how to break into these natural gas geysers is not a solved question. I think we're going to just have to make do with the fact that we're going to have some polluted gas coming up into this gas pump. We do have a filter in place, uh, but this one I think we can save. We're going to take down these uh, these tiles here. We're going to let the water spill over. And then we're going to use some of the brine that we've got kicking around up here. I believe brine has a good high boiling point, 102 degrees. So we, we can we can easily pop it into this 40 degree, 20 degree environment. No problem. Whether any of this gets done before Plank actually turns up. I mean, the, these, these are riddles that we, we shall never know the answer to. A new day rolls in, and as far as I'm aware, nothing untoward has happened to the rocket. I do believe they're just coming in for a landing now. Indeed, there we can see them go, and they have just landed. Beautiful plank. Welcome to Blagolia. You're gonna hate it here, I know, but you know we'll, we'll just we'll just make do. Swan Levitt taking some serious heat problems just down here. I had no idea, no idea. We'll have to try and do something about that. Uh, I don't know if it got. It didn't just get passed straight through the rock. There must there must be something weird happening there anyway i've asked for an enclosed telescope to be placed at the top but i don't think any of that's going to get done because if i come over to the priorities uh if we have a look on where are we blagolia i don't think uh, i don't think anybody builds oh swan levitt has a bit of a building priority but we're not going to go with that we're, we're going to give plank uh, a slightly higher build priority there instantly complaining about the cold i mean good good work that's that's exactly what we need you to do all right we're gonna go deconstruct and i wonder whether this one is on the deconstruct list not at the moment so if we could make those happen that's great i'm also gonna ask for these to get mopped too much liquid too much liquid there we go beautiful thank you very much we go through and uh, immediately plank is getting to work now we're gonna have some troubles because the closest oxygen is actually all this polluted oxygen at the top here but we should we should start getting some numbers off of there very very shortly Okay, that, that's great. I wonder if I need to give one of my other duplicates some more building priorities. We did have Swan Levitt down doing some building for a little bit. Let's uh, let's double bump that and see what happens. Because I really I want I want my telescope built. There, there, there we go. Swan Levitt is on the job. We do need to try and put some oxygen in there at some point, and we don't really have a good oxygen supply. Okay, by the powers of complicated lines, what I'm going to do is push out of these gases across this way. This is kind of the thing that's been detecting the hydrogen buildup, but I notice there's a lot of oxygen in there as well. So we're going to pass it through a filter that's going to filter out for the oxygen. I've totally hooked this up the wrong way, but we'll, we'll fix that in a second. It'll filter out for the oxygen and send everything else out and around this way back into the waistline. Okay, I could have actually have done with that bridge being in place. Ventilation bridge, thank you very much. Uh, we have to send the filtered oxygen out of this system and up into the telescope. Okay, beautiful. That, that should work wonders. Why is Swan Levitt oh, dying from the rocket exhaust, of course? 
I'm sure just a triage cop thrown down in the middle of a corridor, as per the uh, Great British NHS way, will do wonders. I shouldn't bat them out of the NHS. They've saved my life twice. I fully support them and their work. Talking to people that have saved my life, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that saved my YouTube life. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on in the future, despite the overwhelming crushing pressure of me actually being a university student right now. So from the very bottom of my heart, I would like to say thank you so much for making my time a justifiable expense. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, alright, alright. Let's put Swan Leather into the hospital bed. Let's also go to consumables because I've noticed that uh, we're climbing in stress over here and, and I know who's responsible for that. Let's turn off uh, all of Plank's low level eatings. We don't want him to be eating anything that is not cooked seafood. There it is, Paku fillet. Well, we want the actual cooked variety. Maybe some barbecue. There's the cooked seafood. Beautiful. We'll turn literally everything else off. I think given that Swan Levitt never sleeps in her bed, we might move Plank over to the comfy bedroom just to try and save some more morale. Let's do that, and then Swan Levitt can actually sleep up here. It is already assigned. Beautiful. Oh looky, the, the the telescope is up and running. We've got we've got a bunch of oxygen in there, and Plank is doing a scan. Let's have a look. Oh look, we're already one into it. That is great. Look at all of this space back here, and we found a destroyed satellite. What a great timing for us to go and look. Oh, that that's that's amazing. That's that's a ultra good. Well, to push back the frontiers even further, we're going to have to fill out, figure out, sorry, to fill out, I mean, yeah, why not? How to make a steam room right here. You remember how the steam engine was coming down and making this area here very, very hot? What if we made a little insulated box, uh, much like we have over on Pyaxlin here, where we've got steam and a gas pump and a couple of thermal control units? I think if we build that here, not only could we make this, this whole place just a little bit more consistent, though it doesn't need too much work, but we could also benefit from the, the free heat that was coming down and boiling this place up, and then we could pump that heat back into steam, back into the steam engine. Yeah, I think I think that would work great. Yeah, we could we could even fit a steam engine underneath the rocket platform. Yeah, that, that might work really well. We'd have to do something about the water sieve, but that's doable <laughs> or maybe move the rocket well this may be a bit much to chew off 12 minutes into the episode probably 13 minutes now but we're actually going to build an entire new rocket platform over here we're going to have a nice little section underneath that we can warm up with the rocket platform a steam turbine to make sure it doesn't get too hot i also would like is it in utilities to be able to put a thermal aqua tuna it's going to go on this side because the th this little pocket here is just here to absorb heat from the uh, from the rocket i've got a feeling we could actually go down further and maybe things like this are going to be in trouble. We were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so blocks down, causing heat here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we need to make this a little bit bigger. But this is the the rough plan that we're going to go with. Let's let's actually start working on that. If we're going to make it bigger, I also need to put. Uh, is it thin furniture? Or is it in utilities? I can never remember where they hide. There we go. The drywall. Uh, and I'm going to make it out of obsidian because um, it's, it's pretty hot around here. Another thing I'm going to do is have an airlock, uh, because, you know, that's that's nice to have, right? So we can make sure that we do not end up, uh, so that we've got somewhere for our pilots to come out and run down. Why can I not build this tile? Thank you very much. That was, that was a bit weird. Oh, I also really need to watch out for Plank going absolutely nuts. He, he is on a 55% uh, 60, 70, 75% change per cycle. It's big numbers, big numbers. Uh, and, and at some point soon, he's going to want to go around and eat all the food. All right, all right. It says he's binge eating. We know how to deal with this, though. I feel so bad about doing this, but here we go. We're going to do it. Maybe there's even food inside for him to eat. No, nothing but polluted dirt and some weird polluted oxygen. Okay, that's that's interesting. I'm sorry, Plank. You you deserve better than this, but you're you're a danger to yourself and everyone around you right now. We've we've only got 54,000 calories on on this rock and uh, you could eat all that in one day. 
let's see if the printing pod... No, no, no food here. I don't think there's anything I really care about. Piloting medicine, creativity. We kind of need someone who can go around and do a little bit of decorating. Doctor, is it... No, not... Uh, you know what? I'll keep, I'll keep this one in the background and I'll think about whether we can actually keep hold of them. Yes. We can actually support them. So whilst Plank is in here thinking about all the things that he's done to deserve this fate, which honestly is not much, uh, we need to think about how we're going to be sending a bunch of water around here and maybe pick up a bunch of the water. Uh, I think I can solve both these issues with one go. We're just going to get normal liquid pipe here and we're going to run, I mean, it's going to come from here and we're going to try and find a way of going all the way around. This is going to be not the easiest run we've ever done, but it should, shouldn't be the worst either. Okay, there's a basic loop round. Let's go and check on Plank as well. I'll show you that loop in a second. Plank, are you, are you done? 62%. Okay, that's cool. Let's put you back on everything. And hopefully you can go get some food now without eating everything. Uh, we've got a, a, a line of pipe going all the way around the outside. I did try to think about how I could go across the middle, but uh, unfortunately that's not really happening. But I need to warm up this place, cool down this place, and then just kind of uh, warm up this one as well. But just kind of spread the heat around. And I don't think that's going to be too difficult for us to achieve as long as we can get people up here and working on all the various things we need working on up here uh, I definitely need to figure out how to make sure the liquids carry on uh, flowing even when we have a blocked up pipe Another thing that I need to do that's possibly more important than all these pipes going in place but we're going to just let Plank go around and do the building here this is quite nice that he's the uh, decided to go around and do the, uh, the the pipes but that's all due to the wonders of if I come over to the priorities here I've got uh, this oh enable proximities is not on I thought that was on okay well that that's fine why are they just doing the closest jobs to them then I don't know but that's that's fine they're doing the closest jobs to them uh, but the thing I'm gonna do after they go around and build all of those is to try and figure out where we can pick up some water maybe here maybe here uh, and maybe a little bit out of here definitely just a little bit out of here I'd like to get this park sign to be exposed uh, and just put some water in the pipes and start flowing it around so that you can start changing temp uh, exchanging temperatures sorry uh, with the the environment around it and start just evening this whole place out that's one of the things that will definitely where are you plank hello let's have a look at your stress right now cold air low morale i don't know how to improve the morale to be fair that, that, that's normally a food issue and um yeah that's not being solved here Okay, after keeping an eye on Plank for a long time and making sure that he actually ended up eating the food that he was supposed to eat, we indeed have a net gain in morale. We're at 25 out of 18 and the stress is going down. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. So the moment we do anything silly like try and uh, go through some high pressure environment or get completely immersed in water, either of those two things will wipe out that change per cycle that we've got there. But we'll, we'll just keep an eye, make sure Plank doesn't go through anywhere silly okay the thing that we actually brought plank here to do was to go around and to analyze all of these natural gas geysers he can't get down here right now but that is something that we should be working on what about this this has not been set to analyze either plank is on the next one uh he's <laughs> For some reason building airflow tiles that, that's fine but there we go plank is now going to go and research over at this gold volcano which is currently throwing out a whole bunch of uh, molten gold i'm sure there will be no problems there and plank won't get further stressed from this i mean we're already down to 76 this is pretty good we're now fully sopping wet though and scolding uh yeah i'm not sure about this yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want him to be having to go like get himself fixed up. Let's, uh, let's move down here. Let's turn this down to a seven. That's probably a better idea. Um, follow Cam. It's really just the volcano that's much higher priority. Let's, let's think about how we can do this because I reckon we can come down here and do these ones instead. And hopefully that'll mean he's not standing in boiling hot stuff. Okay. Uh, because right now he is still trying to do the volcano, I've got to move him to interrupt that particular process and then bam, off to the deconstruct. This is a long way to travel though, so uh, let's go a little bit faster. Okay, well, it turns out someone other than Plank did it. I was watching him and all of a sudden he just turned around. Uh, we need to get down here. We need to deconstruct this highest possible priority and we need to build some more ladders out of whatever just materials are lying around. We've got a bunch of sedimentary rocks, so building out of sedimentary rock should be a good idea. Plank 
looks like he's not having a great time. I'm hoping that going into this uh, 17 degree environment... Oh, what happened there? Do you guys see the problem? Somehow the water got... went and dropped all the way down here. I'm about to have a very bad day, and I'm not sure how to stop that from happening. Let's put this here. Uh, highest of priority, as I say, sedimentary rock is around anyway, and someone else has gone to do it. All right, great, good, good, good work. Uh, let's let's not have it like that, and let's send Goddard somewhere else. Sudden, sudden crisis management mode has uh, kicked in. Did, did I tell him to move? Doesn't look like I actually told him to move. No. And the reason I say that is people, there are other people down here and I don't want Goddard dealing with it. Can, could you please just, just stop? This move command is not, is not working for some reason. D dude, I know, I know you're having a very bad time there. There we go. All right, great. That's, that's much better. Uh, that was kind of annoying. Um, so, someone needs to get here. Swan Levitt, why isn't Plank doing it? I bet he's off trying to get to the gold volcano. Just... Just, just because, you know. No, he's got to build an airflow tile. But really? What happens when you put stuff down at priority nine without really thinking about it? I mean, we are flooding out here with natural gas, but it doesn't look like we're flooding that much. Uh, that's what I'm more worried about. What just happened? Okay, all right. We, we, we teleported through the other direction. And somehow managing to build the ladder despite the fact that there is a wall in the way. I mean, I'll take that. I want more brine, though. This is this this is now the thing that becomes a, a, a higher priority, I suppose. Need to try and find where to get some from, though, because it's not quite in as smooth supply as it used to be. Plank, 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 please. Please, what are you? Well, I suppose now's a good time, actually. It seems to be a little bit quiet over here. Let's uh, let, let's leave you to do that. I'm a little bit worried about the stress levels. Your stress is high going up because you're sopping wet and in warm air. But uh, we, could, we could do worse. Let, let's interrupt here. I've moved it down to a five priority. I'm not sure where Plank's going to go. Yeah, he literally just wants to re research the volcano. I mean, that... Yeah, at least with me watching him, it's only a change of 5% per cycle as opposed to the 10 that it would be without me. And now that he's moved away from the hot, we, we've got a minus 5 per cycle. So we might even come out on, on top of this one. I mean, this this might be worse. This this might actually be worse. Let's have a look at the stress. Oh, if I follow, bam, we're, we're, we're at net, net gains here. Okay, that's good. No oxygen, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm noticing Plank needs to jump in and out quite a bit. I'm wondering if we can improve his uh, his rates here if we ask people to come along and dig this out. Is that going to be any better? Uh, how about turning this down? I don't think Plank is a digger, unfortunately. It does say construction dig here. Let's uh, let's do this. I just want to get the uh, the levels down a little bit so he's not just always suffocating. But there's a little bit of uh, polluted oxygen floating around, and that's what I really want to try and take advantage of. I don't think it's going to work quite as well as I would like it to, but we'll see. We'll see. I think the simple answer is no. There's too many liquids here. Just too many liquids. Man, I took my eye off of him for like five minutes. Not even that. I was following Swan Levitt around to make sure that she was digging the right stuff. And and he's already spiked up to 93%. I don't I just don't understand how it happens. Alright, beautiful. This one has now been analyzed. Next dormancy in 30 cycles. That's a good way away. Eruption period, 43 seconds out of every 800. Wow, that's uh what's that, a fifth of the time that it's up and running? No, an eighth of the time it's up and running. That, that that's something there. Okay, that's cool. That's more information. More information is always more good. I don't like the fact that Plank seems to be trying to bury people in there. You know what, I'm just going to uh, get rid of this insulated tar. I've been asking the duplicates to go through and uh, open this area up a little bit first. Probably should have put down the roof beforehand. Let's uh, let's pull that across like that and maybe go P9 and this lot across here. I don't even know whether these guys can actually reach, but we're, uh, we're going to act like they can. Something like this ladder cancel. We've got a uh, we got we got some some gas leaks here, but you know what? That's okay, at least in short term. Okay, the causer of troubles is also the bringer of solutions. I'm kind of about this. This is good. Anyone actually uh, doing anything here? Plank is on it. Beautiful. That should now seal everything up nicely. I don't really want to dig into the water because obviously it's going to start spilling down. Maybe what we need to do is open up one of these side passages, maybe over here at some point, and we can get in and out that way instead. 
we can, however, dig these two top tiles out, and then our duplicates should be able to get over and to uh, do a whole bu bunch of stuff over here. Yes. Space exposure there, but I want to have a block there as well. Mm, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to have to think about how to actually expose my way all the way through this, but I think we're good for now. Okay, whilst these guys are going around building all of the piping infrastructure in place, I need to start thinking about the future of when we're going to be moving water around. And I think the way that I'm going to deal with this is a way that I have dealt with it in the past. I'm going to put down an automatic dispenser, this time just a little bit closer to our offloading point. Maybe maybe here. Uh, actually, I might, I might just do it up high somewhere. If I do it right here, it's in between the two areas where I'm likely to be coming from, or at least my duplicates are likely to be coming from. So we'll build this here and then we'll start dropping all of the fish because I'm going to want to like pump this water out and we're going to have a bunch of fish left behind. Actually, I'm going to try and time it so we have a bunch of eggs left behind and we can just drop eggs into the area there. This also needs to really be a higher priority. Good, good luck whoever gets on with that. So my plan is whenever I see an egg somewhere, I'm going to ask for it to be swept up in the hopes that we can move the entire population into this area here, which which should work. I really, I really do think it will work. By the power of friendship and teamwork, we have nearly got these last little bits done. It's a brand new day and I've asked for a small power system to be built as well. We're going to pump out this liquid water here. Liquid water, yes, of course, as opposed to the solid stuff that we've got up here. Uh, and we're going to pump it into this 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 cooling line around the whole base. Uh, I say cooling line, it's going to be an evening line. It's going to, at least this point until we get the cooler actually set up, just going to be going around in circles doing its best to make sure that we have an even temperature across the entire base because that's one of the things people have been complaining about pretty hard uh, the duplicates anyway I don't know if they count as people that the uh, it's too hot over here too cold down below you, you know the problem I think I've told you three times now and away our first cooling water go now it's it's coming out at three degrees which is a bit of a problem I think I might want to put a little elbow uh, of radiant pipe down here just so it can swap temperature with the area around it came out at three it's now at for this is definitely going to be the trend for this little packet of water it's going to be increasing in temperature as time goes on we do have a little blob of brine here as well i wonder whether i can actually get that swept up no it's too much liquid i thought it would be too much liquid uh we're just we're just gonna let it go we're just gonna roll with it i i, I see no real reason not to especially as my next move is to try and actually put some of these other brines in there as well waiting for this person here this little paku to drop an egg the soon uh, but if we're going to do that, I should actually go critter egg and all of the fry eggs. Fry, gulp, fry. Where's the tropical fry? There we go. Beautiful. Got them all. There, we're going to dump them all in there. Is this one little water pot? I, I, I wasn't expecting it to fill up the entire system here, but I, I think I think we might actually do it. That's... um. I mean, that's cool, but also totally not what I wanted. Because I put a bridge on here, I, I was even thinking as I put the bridge on, I'm not going to need this, but but there we go. I, I did need it. Who knew? Why have we got starvation? That, that shouldn't be a thing. Okay, with more brine in place, I'm going to try and get into this little hole here. I did that in completely the wrong way. What I wanted to do was put this here and then put a uh, take this tile out. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I might even... No, I'm not going to restart the day. I was going to think I might even restart the day. But no, let, let's just try and get through here. I mean, I could take this abyss light out. I kind of want to keep it um, the abyss light flat, though. No, no particular reason. It's just what I want to do. Okay, another 200 kilograms being put in place. Let's destroy this one this time. Hopefully that will be the right system. I just need to have a bit of brine here and a bit of brine here, and that will stop the uh, the gases flooding out like like happened last time, and hopefully that will be okay. To let Plank in and finally get this last geyser um, analyzed. I think that's the only one we've got left having access to that we haven't got analyzed. This guy over here, uh, we've got this gold volcano analyzed. This one down here got done in the background. Didn't even notice it happening, but here we go. 80, 80 cycles every 120. Uh, Plank has gone in. You know what? I'm, I might just even let him. Uh, let, let, let's, let's keep people going at this. Hopefully someone can just keep on it. <laughs> 
Well, we've been dropping Brian into this spot for days now, and every time a new bit goes down, it, it just opens up. I've, I've gone beyond caring that that is a thing. We're just going to let Plank do his job here. It might take a little bit of time. I can't see past this little bit of gold amalgam. If we like, cancel that for now. Yeah, we're, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, it got plugged up. Today, we managed to get Plank all the way over to Blood Golia over here so that we can start going around and getting... Uh, a, a whole bunch of analysis are done on all of our geysers. We've got all the gold done. We've got most of the gas geysers done. This is probably going to be done by the time I finish my outro. Uh, we've got starvation happening because this is now too high a priority. The, the seal is broken again. I do not care. We're just going to let all of this gas fly out. And I will see you next time when we're going to continue on with our quest to make Blagolia a much more livable space. And I will see you then or when we're going to do that. Bye. I've just noticed that Plank is really stressed. Let's put him back where he belongs.